Good morning everybody, I'm in Accrington, Lancashire, Clayton Lemuris and behind me is Oakenshaw Cottage now known as Mercer Hall because it was the home of John Mercer and the place Oakenshaw goes back to about Saxon times because it's an old name, Oak Wood, that's what it means and this is the place where John Mercer lived Oakenshaw Cottage was built in 1802 by Thomas Simpson and he was from Accrington, he had Oakhill Mansion and he, he had the print works in Accrington but he built this mansion for John Mercer for him to live with his family Now John Mercer lived from 1791 and died in 1866 and he was the person who invented mercenization he invented it devised it in 1844 and then patented it in 1850 and mercenization was a strengthening of cotton by using sodium hydroxide the sodium hydroxide made the cotton uh, a lot tougher and gave it also a luster texture and uh, he also used sulfuric acid to neutralize the sodium hydroxide John Mercer was born in 1791 and died in 1866 and he devised mercenization in 1844 and he started experimenting with it quite early on in his days working with the forts Richard Fort and they owned Oakenshaw print works and uh, he painted mercenization in 1850 and mercenization is a strengthening of cotton and it actually gave it a luster uh, textile strength uh, but he treated it with sodium hydroxide and uh, that is caustic soda and then he had to neutralize it with sulfuric acid but it was widely used in the Lancashire Industrial Revolution and it's still used today and uh, at first uh, the cotton was cleaned in fueling mills and that's where he started his experimenting and then devising mercenization and he made a great wealth and that's how he could live at this great mansion this great place which is known as Mercer Hall in Lancashire now the cotton was held under tension on a stenting machine which is still used and uh, to hold it under tension it was held on hooks called ten to hooks which is a phrase still used today which means being on edge and while it was held under tension and then treated and then dried the cotton became very strong and it was also given a luster colour so this machine has been adapted and still used today but it was used all them years ago by John Mercer and uh, he made quite a lot of money from using this process because it was patented and were used worldwide now John Mercer made a great wealth and unfortunately when he died uh, he passed on his wealth uh, to his daughter Maria and his daughter actually in memory of him built the bass in Great Harwood because that was where he was from uh, on Queen Street in Great Harwood they are massive bass and uh, it's a great uh, structure uh, with columns stone columns it's a huge uh, huge site and uh, also she built the town uh, gate clock uh, in memory of him the Mercer clock uh, so he, he made an absolute fortune in the industry 
uh, of lancashire in the cotton and treating the cotton thank you